Algeri gave Khan that work. And you mean to tell me. You fucking guys out there that are still flow moles and don't know shit about boxing. Actually say that Algeri got outclassed. That Khan schooled him? That Khan dominated him? <laughs> I'll be back with a word about that, fight fans. See you next time. That is the most spectacular one punch shot of any knockouts. You may hear it. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Guys, there's nothing like boxing, and there are no athletes like fighters. What's up, fight fans? I'm Jay Cotto, and welcome to Jay Cotto's Fight Page. I'm gonna make this nice, short, and brief. Uh, basically, Chris Algieri held his own, and uh, he basically uh, a lot of people are saying that the fight was a fucking draw. I'm I, I'm beginning to believe that as I watch this match again, and uh, basically, uh, Connie shit. I've been saying it before. Um, somebody wants to pull up all his resumes on the past fighters that he's fought before, Khan, Madonna, all of the, but uh, that's diminished. That resume needs updating. That's done. Said, over with, done. You know what I'm saying? Amir Khan is not elite. I've been saying this before, but for some reason, you flow moles, you fucking pack tards, you people that don't know shit about boxing, you casuals like to put them up there. Just like he puts himself up on a higher platform. But he's not on the elite platform. He is a B-level fighter. And for all you Amir Khan fans, I, I'm telling you like it is. Because think about it. If he was so elite. If he was such a great fighter. If he's an A-plus fighter. Then why the fuck not fight Brooke? He should have been fighting Brooke yesterday. Friday. He should have been fighting him. But he didn't fight him. He fought Algeri, thinking Algeri was going to be easy, and look what happened. Algeri switched up his trainer, got Jackson. Still needs a little work, but did his thing. I'd like to see an Algeri uh, con too. Because this time I think Algeri will definitely, definitely beat the shit out of him. Now, let's get this shit out the way with the Alexander fight. Since you Amir Khan Fucking fans like to, oh, but look what he did to Alexander. Alexander is finished. He's punch drunk. He's out of the question. He's no longer a good fighter. Okay, Khan made it, got got out easy. You know what I'm saying? Because he finished a finished fighter. Why don't you see anything upcoming this year with Alexander at all? Come on, guys. Stop this shit. If you know your boxing... And if you know your fighter and you know what's going on, you would have to agree and say, repeat after me, Amir Khan is not an elite fighter. Amir Khan is a B-level fighter who happens to think, which I think he's very fucking delusional, but who happens to think that he is up there with Manny and Floyd. Or Floyd and Manny. However the fuck you want to put it. He's not. He's not. Anybody else. Besides Brooke on his next fight. Is totally uncivilized. I don't really give a fuck about him. I think he's a nice guy in life. But but in the sport he's delusional. And I'm starting to believe what Freddie Roach said about him getting dropped. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Fight fans. To all you Amir Khan fans, give me the thumbs down. I don't really give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it is what it is. After I tell you and you try to get rid of me, you have everybody else in the YTBC that knows boxing telling you the same thing. Amir Khan is not elite. He is a B-level fighter. It is what it is, fight fan. 
Hashtag come back to boxing. I'll be coming back to you guys with uh with the Kell Brook versus Gavin and the uh Anthony Joshua fights as well, man. Uh I'll tell you right now in the heavyweight division, Anthony Anthony Joshua is gonna be a force. He's gonna be one hell of a force, man. Otherwise than that, boxing fans, have a great Sunday. God bless. Thanks for watching.